the NCAA uh, saying that our women's cross country team is in the top 10% of all programs uh, in the country. And so uh, we take a lot of pride in that. <laughs> take a lot of pride in our, our student athletes being students first. And so uh, we're excited about that. Uh, to the meet this weekend at Bradley, it went really well. Uh, about as, as good a meet as we could have had. Uh, starting on the women's side, uh, we had three girls land themselves in the top 10 all time in school history. Uh, Scotty Schoen ran a, a huge personal best. Now she's sitting fourth all time. Allison Fick, she's now um, sixth all time, and Haley Thomas is seventh all time. And so anytime you get a chance and you have three runners put themselves in the top 10 uh, in the history of your program, that's, that's a pretty special day. And I was just as excited about the rest of the team as well. Everyone notched personal best times, and uh, we've improved significantly over the last few weeks, and really looking forward to uh, the conference meet here in a couple weeks. We put ourselves in a much better position uh, than we have been, and so we're excited uh, to do that. Uh, on the men's side, uh, Brett Egan again uh, led the team with a sixth place finish at the meet, and then just followed by a, a big uh, group of personal bests. And what was great about this, the group with uh, Zach Bukay, Terry Nielsen, um, Ryan Krogman, and Calvin Kibbe is that their spread between our second runner and our fifth runner was only 30 seconds. And so uh, when you get your team to start to finish that close to each other and they're running fast times, that's, that's a really good thing and we're excited uh, about that. We just got to get a little bit better. There's a lot more work to do. Uh, we were recognized by the, um, by the region uh, this week. Our team is now ranked 14th in the Midwest and so we're excited about that. But it is a number and so it doesn't mean a, a whole, whole lot uh, in the meantime except for that um, we're making a lot of good progress. We got to just keep, keep the ball rolling. So uh, excited for the Missouri Valley meet Illinois State in a couple weeks and uh, go from there. Any questions about cross country? All right, go Panthers. Good afternoon. Um, as Colin said, we start uh, our meet season on Friday evening, 6 o'clock. Um, it's going to be an exciting time for me because this is my, uh, my first uh, head coaching uh, dual meet. And so one thing that uh, I look forward to is seeing the girls go out and compete at a high level, which, we, uh, which we've been waiting to do so far this season. Um, the uh, South Dakota State uh, brings a lot of experience to, uh, to the pool. Uh, most of their swimmers are uh, of upperclassmen and return a lot of distance. I like our chances. I like the, what we, the way we stack up against them. Um, we can come out and, uh, and win the events that we need to. I think that uh, we can uh, surprise them a little bit more than, they're, than they're what they're expecting. And, and uh, from what they've seen in the past, uh, this team is definitely uh, something that will hopefully be something that's very competitive to them. Uh, and uh, we, can, we can steal one. Uh, last year, they, they uh, handled you and I pretty well. Um, and I don't uh, see the, the repeating that. Uh, looking forward to, we also, it's a big weekend for us uh, in the rebuilding of this program. Uh, we have four recruits that are going to be coming in, one from uh, Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, North Dakota, and then uh, a girl from West Des Moines. Uh, so looking forward to showing them a, a, good, uh, a good showing of what this program uh, is going to be like in the near future and uh, get, this, uh, get this ship righted and, and moved uh, towards lots of victories and lots of success. Any questions? Thank you. Oh, are you sorry. relays set, or are you still uh, experimenting? We, you know, being the first meet, where I, I feel like we always, I'm always going to be experimenting. Um, whatever the four best girls come forward at any point of the season, that's what we're going to go with. And uh, regardless whether uh, they are from uh, an upperclassman or, or incoming freshman, we have a lot of talent in the freshman class. So I look forward to seeing uh, a lot of our relays filled by even our, our incoming fresh, or our freshmen that are here this year. Uh, and then as we recruit, continue to recruit uh, people that would come in with their relays in mind. So, thanks. Thank you. Saturday, Saturday was uh, an interesting day, to say the least. It was, uh, we started out the way.